Hey, what's going on guys? It's Bozian and welcome back to another one of my videos and today we're going to be counting down the top 5 wonder weapons in Black Ops 3 Zombies and as of now, uh, the only maps that we have in Black Ops 3 Zombies are Shadows of Evil and The Giant. If you're from the future and you're watching this when a DLC or even multiple DLCs have come out, well this list might have changed, my opinions might differ, so this list might not even matter in the future, but as of now, these are the top five wonder weapons that we have in Black Ops 3 Zombies. So coming in at number five, we got the Wander Wath, and a lot of you might be surprised that it's not at the top somewhere or pretty close to the top because it's the Wander Wath. It's one of the most powerful wonder weapons in Call of Duty Zombies. Unfortunately, in Black Ops 3 Zombies, it's not the all-powerful wonder weapon that we all knew and loved. Unfortunately, Treyarch kind of broke this weapon, and it's not what it used to be in Black Ops 1 in World at War. It's just the fact that whenever you shoot it, it just takes out very, uh, just a very little amount of zombies, and it's not really useful. I mean, I've had so many things go wrong with the Wander Wav, and some people have even reported that uh, it doesn't do anything. It's completely useless for some rounds, and I have no clue why that happens. Uh, it's so glitchy, and it's really underpowered. It's not as powerful as it used to be in the uh, past iterations of Call of Duty Zombies, and I'm not sure why Treyarch decided to do this. I know that they're really trying to make zombies just really, really hard this year, and uh, maybe they just dumbed down all of the weapons, maybe try to make it a little harder. I'm not sure why they did this, but unfortunately, the Wanderwath is not what it used to be, and uh, if you get pinned in a corner or something like that, the zombies can still kill you even if you shoot at them. Like, even if you pre-shoot and then you walk into the corner, they could still kill you. I've, I've experienced this myself and I can confirm that this happens and it's really unfortunate, but what can you do? The Wanderwolf actually got a patch recently and uh, they buffed it up a bit, I guess you could say, and now I guess it's a little better. Um, not really because they can't really change what's already in the game. They can do it a little bit. I don't think it's ever going to be as good as it was in Black Ops 1 and World at War. So, coming in at number 4, we got the Lil Arnies. And, uh, some of you might not consider this as an actual wonder weapon, but it's officially labeled as one. So, I chose this over monkeys because it's upgradable, and you can actually kill zombies even faster when it's upgraded. And the process of upgrading it isn't really that hard, but unfortunately, I didn't actually get to do that, so there's no gameplay of it. But if you guys actually went ahead and did it, you can actually kill zombies a lot, a lot faster than if you just had the regular Lil Arnie's and probably a lot faster than the monkey bombs. Also, the fact that it just kind of looks aesthetically better, I mean, it just, it looks a lot cooler than uh, the monkey bombs, let's be honest. It's just a really weird kind of octopus that kind of waves his uh, tentacles everywhere and it's absolutely hilarious. It just looks so funny, but if you look at it closely, you can actually see that it's a really small version of the actual giant kraken in the sky after you pack a punch of course once you get pack a punch you can see it in the sky and it really it's the exact same model if you look at the mouth and everything and uh, I'm assuming that's exactly what <laughs> the giant kraken in the sky looks like so that's kind of a hidden Easter egg I guess you could say not really but uh, just something that I wanted to mention that uh, makes it even more cooler and Coming in at number three, we got the good old ray gun, and it's uh, been there in every single zombies map for us, and uh, we all love it. We all cherish this weapon so much, and I mean, what is there to say? This is just an amazing weapon, and it easily wipes out zombies with a few shots. You could definitely get to, uh, very, very high rounds with this thing, and it really, it just wipes out zombies like it's nothing, and it's absolutely amazing. This ray gun has always been in our hearts, and uh, hopefully they keep this in every single, not, not hopefully, they will. I mean, they will keep this in every single zombies map that will come in the future. I definitely think that it's one of the greatest wonder weapons of all time, but unfortunately, it doesn't make the top two, so let's keep going. Coming in at number two, we got the Apothecan Swords, and these things are really, really hard to get because the whole process behind getting these swords is absolutely agonizing, and uh, in the end, it's worth it, but the 
whole process behind getting these swords is just terrible and it always takes up a lot of time it takes up like 20 minutes 30 minutes or something like that i don't know it takes up a lot of time i wish it didn't take that long but it does but in the end it's all worth it because these wonder weapons are absolutely amazing uh these swords clear out zombies like it's it's nothing you take them out and you just kill all the zombies with literal insta kill i don't know how long it lasts um might be insta kill forever uh, i don't know but you just sit there and you swing and uh nothing it's it's that easy you don't even have to aim or anything you just slice them up and uh these things are just completely powerful again the process behind getting them is really hard but in the end it's absolutely worth it because there is no other wonder weapon in the shadows of evil map that matches the power of these swords uh except one you can also upgrade these things which is just absolutely crazy because these things are already amazing and you just uh you go ahead and upgrade them and they become even better weapons which is just a, like you can't even contemplate that because of how good they are already and the process behind actually upgrading these things is even worse than the actual process behind getting these swords but i guess you could say in the end it's worth it i mean putting in all of the time to actually get these swords is a lot of work and uh, it would really suck if you just went down for some reason and uh you put in that much work into the map and everything to get those swords and upgrade them as well and when you actually do upgrade these things uh they're beyond overpowered they literally just fly around you and chop up zombies for you you don't have to do anything you don't even have to attack them yourselves and uh, you literally just run around and the swords do all the work for you so these are amazing wonder weapons and uh the unfortunate downsides to them is that the swords are really really hard to get and uh the fact that you also have to go through the whole process to upgrade them it's just completely insane and uh it's just really super hard Treyarch really wanted to make Black Ops 3 zombies super hard this time around and they succeeded they definitely succeeded and uh besides that the actual reload of the weapon is pretty annoying you have to wait for it to actually charge up uh, the way you charge it up is by killing zombies so the more zombies you kill the faster you'll get your swords back so those are the unfortunate downsides but we're gonna move on now so coming in at number one we got the shiva i'm just kidding i think you already know what is in the number one spot uh, i'm gonna mention it anyways it's the apothecan servant and uh, i mean there's really nothing to say about this weapon because we all knew that this would be number one it is basically just as good as the thunder gun from black ops 1 and a lot of people might argue that the thunder gun wasn't the best weapon but in my opinion it was it's just one of those weapons that are extremely overpowered you just shoot them and they just fly everywhere and it's literally that easy this weapon can closely compare to that uh they really just get sucked into the black hole and you have nothing to worry about if you're stuck in a corner and uh, you can compare it to the wander waff where you actually would have to worry because uh, you might have a chance of the zombies actually hitting you even though you shot them. But with the Apothecan Servant, that doesn't happen. You just shoot the Vortex out and they all get sucked in. This thing is extremely powerful and I definitely think it's more powerful than the swords. It's more useful. And uh, the way I use it is I just run around and uh, if I get trapped anywhere, I just shoot it and I'm good to go. I mean, it's that easy. If you just maintain a really good train, you won't die and nothing bad is going to happen to you as long as you have this thing in your hands when when you're running and if you get trapped in a corner just shoot it and you're good to go so i'd like to think that this acts similarly to the gersh device from ascension a lot of people mention that unfortunately you can't jump through it it doesn't let you teleport to any random location or anything like that obviously they were trying to avoid that uh, because they probably knew that this was pretty similar to the gersh device they didn't want to make it uh, the gersh device wonder weapon or whatever but uh, it's pretty similar undeniably it has its similarities but uh, i definitely think that this is something unique in its own way i guess you could say and uh, there is a way to upgrade it but uh unfortunately i have no clue how to do that uh, the only way that we know of right now to pack a punch it is using the gumball that actually uh upgrades the weapon that you have in your hand and uh in the past you could upgrade it uh with the pack a punch machine but that was just a glitch and uh, i was one of those people that did that and it's even more powerful it just it's it's crazy how powerful this weapon can get and uh, unfortunately there's no way to pack a punch it as of now maybe there's still a way to somehow upgrade it uh, that we still haven't found in the map and uh, hopefully in the future we do sometime because I would love to upgrade this thing in the future. But to be quite honest, there's really no reason to do that because it's already extremely powerful and uh, upgrading it would be 
just a little bit of an extra boost. And overall, this is the best wonder weapon in Black Ops 3 Zombies. If you guys have a list of your own, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what else could come in the number one spot because I definitely think without a doubt that this is the best weapon in the game, the Apothecan servant and again let me know down in the comment section below what your list is and uh, again this might change in the future we might get something that's even more powerful than the apothecan servant but uh, I don't know for now this is the top five list that I have for you guys so that's gonna be it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please leave a rating please subscribe and have a wonderful day see you later